Not yet, sir. Then should you tell her it's urgent? I did, sir. Get my drugs and water. Okay, sir. Ah! No! Who's there? Cynthia! Please get me a bowl of water fast! Sorry, sir. Time it is we human beings that have not been fair to life. I had a son. Sir? It's a long, complete story of a Rwandan woman that will carry my pregnancy some 26 years ago. The fact remains that time is faster than me. I may not be alive to the end of it. Um, sir, you see, I have worked with you for over 20 years and you you uh, shared some personal feelings with me but this uh it's a dark side of my life but i wish to wash it naturally but sir you could have brought in the boy or the mother after you lead towards uh, several miscarriages sometimes sir it still beats me why we have lost the remarried between you and i boy there were never any miscarriages all getting my late wife Never had with carriages. Rather, it was the problem I had after the accident when I came back from Rwanda that caused me my settlement. Doctors promised they were going to correct the photo. I think you'd rather spare me the agony of the detail. It reminds me of my, my, my bitter past until you come back from Rwanda. Hmm? Rwanda? Sir, but what am I going to do with Rwanda? I'm sending you to go and make inquiries on how to find out what the boys were about. I would have engaged the services of a reputable private detective or body, as it were. But because of what has been between you and I, I can always trust you. Um, your dad just called right now and said we should go. Come with me. Just it was the meeting. Okay, we can just go home. All right. Just... Do you have a car park somewhere? Yeah, it's over there. We just pick. The one I came with said I will come with. Is that why there's this car? Just over there. Well, let's walk through it. I heard they kidnap people in this place. Would they kidnap me? You don't have to call this. Nigeria is a good place. Very sweet. Your father is very much. 
I just want to help free your suit. You need to be comfortable. You want this work. It's something I do for cheap, you know, like a routine every day. As I told you, I am perfectly comfortable. I'll do it myself. A cup of coffee? No thanks. I will advise you to have one. It's a fantastic day starter. Why do I have a sense I've been struck into a strict regime program here? I have been instructed to trick you like an egg. Well, I'm not an egg. I'll call you when I need you. All right. Yes, I sent for you. In connection with my will. Yes. I want to be amended. My son should have 70% of the will. Yes, sir. 5% goes to Paul for his steadfastness and the long service. Another 5% goes for charity. Making it 80% on the whole. Right, sir. The remaining 20% will go to my first grandchild. Okay, sir. Do you understand? Quite understood, I don't sir. Any mistake whatsoever. No problem, sir. When do I expect this amended will? Oh, Chief, uh, I'll work on it and get back to you as soon as possible, sir. Um, okay. Well, what about the documents? You didn't come with them. Oh, I left everything in the car. I am in a hurry. I was in a hurry. I had to come and get you. Now, um, do you mind joining me for lunch? Oh, no problem, sir. I will do it next time. Like I said, I'm in a hurry. I have to go back to school. Do your best, okay? Thank you, sir. I'll get back to you very soon, sir. Thank you, sir. personal assistant for over 20 years before I resigned. Well, he never told me he had a son. Mom, guess what? Watch again. Just guess what, my dear. Chief just assigned me to be Henry's personal assistant. Hmm. You mean the boy has already resumed in this corporation? Yes, as vice chairman. And you are his personal assistant. Yes, Mo, I am. <laughs> hmm. Looks like Chief of started his handing over process already. What a like. Well, okay. I, I need to go upstairs and fresh. I'll try it. I love you. Love you too. I 
Stop thinking. I saw you start thinking. You did what? I saw you. How? I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. I've never seen such a guy's body so inviting. You need to see him. It's natural for me. You can see that body so long and bitter. You're rotting. You are so rotting. I know. I wish I was going to the bathroom with him. Is he still there? I still want to see him. No, I don't see what he said. Well, I'm not like you. Okay, I only wanted to. Friday is a casual dress at the office. And uh, today being the last Friday of the quarter, it's the corporate launch on at the headquarters today. What's that? Um, party time for all the staff of, of Manuel Dynasty. And I happen to be your chopper today. How come? Just me informed. You were well informed. Is there on your first break? There you are, sir. The perfume smells nice. Thank you. We can simply share a glance or two and go downstairs just for our parents' sake. Then you can just come back and we'll know each other better. Oh, sorry, as in, sorry. You can come back to work if you like. Hmm? Let's not forget. I got you something. Spirit of the day.
you like it? Hello? Did my father send you here to tempt me? No. No, not at all. Um, I will give up my life to get such indulgence from Chief. Look, Harry. I'm not such a thing. Those magnetic aura you brought here. Magnetic? Mm -hmm. I cannot be seen. No. The last time I saw it, it was in the morning. The solution for that world. And I totally confused. So much beyond my expectations within so short a time. But Daddy, why do you introduce me to your friends and business as your political associate? That I'm your son from the United States of America. It's embarrassing. I'm not ashamed of my past. It's just pretty tense. Trust me. It's best for you. I need to protect you from folks who would ordinarily want to capitalize on your weak history. The world is full of intricacies, both political and otherwise. And I need to do everything humanly possible to make sure you catch up with what you may have lost all this while and quickly too. I'm sorry, Daniel. I was beginning to think that you were ashamed of my back. Oh, no, 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 no. 
it is beyond business and politics, my dear. I feel even more fulfilled uh, seeing you live a family life. I'm not thinking about marriage now. What do you mean by that? I'm not thinking at all. What? See, Daddy, I'm not good with this emotional stuff. Just like waking up a family, I'm not good. Jerry, then you lost me there. See, I know you wouldn't understand. It's a personal thing. What are you waiting for? What? You are an adult, handsome young man, educated. I'm sure way back home you have one or two ladies who take your fancy. Why don't you settle down with one of them? Or better still, while here, you can still find one of these girls homely to start raising a family and then think of giving me a grandchild or children. I can see that uh, your PA, Lucia, is beginning to develop interest in you. Yes. She's intelligent and uh, decent. And I discussed with the mother over this issue. So I wanted to marry Lucia. Not another 5, 10, or 15 years, Daddy. Not. Henry, you don't have any choice anymore. Besides, you have everything going for you now. I said I'm not ready! Daddy, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I never meant for that emotional award. What I meant was. I have so much going academically and socially right now just to crawl under your imposing shadow. I love you. Well, John, haven't lived with me for this number of years. There's something I wanted to rub mine together on this Lucia's case, Lucia. Um, to me, Lucia possesses all the qualities I expect in a lady that uh, my son Henry was to live for the rest of, the rest of the life with. Yeah, uh, sir, I think um, your health condition is not good for, enough for you to withstand the stress. But that was essentially why I have to bring him back home, to have a legacy, okay? Um, I don't have time actually. I the fact remains that um, I might not live to the end of next year, so I would want him to settle down as fast as possible, so that our family tree will continue. Uh, so um, I guess uh, he's very, very much confused, sir. Uh, he actually needs a lot of time, sir. And that's what I don't have. Time is what I don't have. It's fast running out. Maybe I should even open up and tell him the exact state of my health. That way, my he might have a change of heart. Yeah, that would be a very good idea, sir. Very good idea. But sir, uh, I think um, I, I really think he would be, he would be betrayed, you know, to know that you got him all the way from Rwanda down to Nigeria, all for your own selfish purposes. There's something passionate about him I've noticed. Um, he seems to have developed this. This inept hatred for women in general. Have you observed that? Sir, that's extreme, sir. I think um, that would be because of his background. Maybe he has not found someone he loves. Then we should help him find one. Um, thousand and one ladies all over the place. And by the way, in so doing, we will we'll make sure that uh, we don't uh, make mistakes along the line. Okay? Yes, sir. Well, um, we must. Uh, very discreet about it. Because anything on the contrary will have a devastating effect. That is one of the facts. Okay? What about uh, Paul? Why is he having seen all day? Oh, sir. Um, he was he is in the, in the other scene. He's going to find out what he's going to come back with. Oh, all right, very much, sir. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Well, ask him to see me. All right, sir. I invited both of you because. You have served me diligently for the few years we've lived together and um, I can't fault you in any way. It's just that a big mighty tree is about to fall and needs a replacement. Mm, sir, we don't understand. Henry. Henry, my son, is causing me nightmares. He doesn't want to get married. Time is fast running out of me. 
So I think there's someone deceiving him outside. Or maybe he doesn't like women. <laughs> no, sir. I, I think he's just taking his time. Taking his time? He doesn't love women. I think I know what to do. I'll have to break all protocols at this point. By asking both of you to go closer to him and see if you can make him have a change of heart towards getting married. All I need is my grandchild. How he goes about it, I don't care. Do you understand? No, so we don't understand. Sir, I do understand very well. I do.
is a foot, sir. What happened to the name of Jim? I'm glad I do the stresses of going downstairs to me. It's because I want to take it. You better take that from the back downstairs and sound properly. Everywhere I go, they throw themselves at me. They're even begging for me to have an affair with them. Yeah. Begging. Now, what's happening? Well, Master Henry, eh? <laughs> Master Henry. Oh, this is not funny. You saw what happened the other day in the street. Uh, yes. What's going on? Well, all I can say is that most of our girls here are decent and well brought up. Only that they are independent minded and seem to know the quality guy when they see one. Paul, <laughs> yeah. back home. Yeah. These girls don't throw themselves to men. No? Well, you see, um, I have traveled far and wide with your father, Master Henry. And one thing experience has taught me is that a wealthy family background like yours attracts both decent and irresponsible girls everywhere. All you need to do is just to open your eyes well. Master Henry, this is now your home. Thank you very much, Paul. You're a good friend to my father. Now you're my friend. Thank you very much. Thank if you will excuse me now. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Enjoy your coffee. Thank you. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm 
mean, I, I can't believe this. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm surprised. If I'm not mistaken, why are you all over me? <sighs> all over you? Yeah. I'm not all over you. Um, listen, I am a marketer. I just thought it was a strategic gamble to come over here and market my product. And now, uh, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I am, <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm truly, truly embarrassed. Well, you are yeah. to the reputation in my mind. I'm well, uh, seriously, like, <laughs> actually, I didn't know. Useless boyfriend snatcher. What are you doing here? Hmm? <laughs> I mean, hello? Don't you dare. Lucia. So, she's a two-faced hypocrite. You listen to me. Your scummy antics will not work here, okay? Are you out of your mind? I'm so sorry, sir. What's all this nonsense about? I'm sorry. She snatched my former boyfriend back then in university, sir. Me? I see it as an act of insubordination and a blatant disregard for your position as vice chairman of the company. I'm sorry, Daddy. I never thought of it. You must learn to give a thought to everything you think that's succeed as a, as a leader. Also, too much is given, much is expected. Did you hear that? Meanwhile, Mr. Bakonji must be told in very clear terms that you will never condone his stepping issues over you to you. I'll see you later. about you. I'm so sorry. Um, I explained my feelings this way. Anita had cost me more relationship in the past and I can't stand the thought that she's competing with me again over your heart. Obviously. Yes. Yes. I love you, Henry. Oh, damn that word. Just damn it. I don't want to hear that word from you again. Henry. I love you. Mm, I said I don't want to hear the word from you again. I can't. Now get out of here. Henry, I don't mind losing the job. Just tell me you love me. Say it, I Henry. can't. I just can't. Say it. No. Say it, Henry. I love you. I love you, Henry. I love you so much. 
running like someone goes to explosion. Shh. Ah, be quiet. I don't want anyone to hear us. Look at what I found in Chief's room. Mm -hmm. Is this your pregnancy result? Cynthia, you are mad. It's you who is pregnant. Ah, what sort of rubbish talk is that? It's my fault. Are you not the one who is responsible in cleaning Chief's room? Maybe something has been going on behind closed doors. Let you hear such rubbish from your mouth. Idiot. You're just a bloody illiterate. Hey, professor, please read it for me. I want to hear it. Look, Chief has leukemia. Okay, we'll start it again. Which one is leukemia? There she goes again. I mean, Chief will soon die. God forbid. How could you say such a thing? It's not me. It's here in his medical report. See? I overheard Chief the other day telling Paul to quickly arrange for Henry to get married because he's running out of time. And it all adds up to me now. This girl is not kidding me. Wait, it's not done. What has uh, Henry's marriage got to do with Chief dying? Cynthia, you carry an empty skull around, don't you? Look, Chief told Paul to secretly let words out that his son has finally returned home to get married to a decent girl. This girl, you're wicked. I swear, you're wicked. You're a devil. How? So you know all this and you refuse to tell me. Hey. Tell you? <laughs> For what? Please tell me. I'm stuck. Your grandma. Bambi, I don't have any money right now, but when I come back from the factory, I'll pay you. Okay, I'll come back in the evening then. Alright, thank you. And Bambi, how about what I told you the last time? Please leave me, you're not my type. Ah, forget about it. Yeah, I know. Bambi, Bambi!
slime problems. So, when you bring them? Mm, some. Or Sandra, I don't want to hang around here. So I know what that means to have to. Oh, baby, don't you trust me anymore? First, I have something special for you. I what could that be? Why don't you find out first? Baby.
Sandra, you did this to me. So this is what it's all about. Then I will never love a woman again. My heart from this day is turned away from love. And any woman that wants to have a place in my heart shall never have it again. Oh, I cast this emotion called love. Love for a woman will never have a place in my heart again. I swear I will rip out my heart if it ever be tempted to love again. Oh my god. Anybody has told me. Truth hurts, you know. But she's right. What? Secret hidden sometimes come back to hurt us so much. That's the shame your mother brought to this family by her halatry. No. <laughs> It's okay. I'm not 
just trying to tell you. The shadow of a cat is a threat compared to the mother hen. I don't want to see you with her. Stay away from women. You don't need them now.
move mature and scheme your way into his path as everyone is doing. As to being like a fool. And so at the end of the day, Henry has a choice and not yours. So compete. I should compete. Yes, we do. Yeah, I should compete. No, no, you don't understand. I am not ready to compete over Henry. And even if I want to even compete, someone like you. Open my bed, but God forbid, never, it can't happen. You know yeah, what? Then quit. Quit, quit, quit. It's just so hard for you to know. Just quit. Or if you can't quit, you can go hit your head against the wall or hug a transformer for all I care. And let me tell you something, Tara. Every girl you see, every girl you see is competing for Harry's heart. If yeah. you don't know that, yes. So, stop behaving like a toy. Hey, Anita. Yes, darling. Me. Of course. It's all right. No, you call me. It's all right. I'm acting like a toy. I need you. I need you. There you go. Tell it for me. That is all. What? You must try right now. Do it. Do it. Exercises. Really? <laughs> Sweetie, he's having his morning exercises and he does this every morning and we do more behind his door. I'm not mean to him serious. I'm sure she is. Please, um, we need to go to the office. We have so many things to catch up with. Madam, today is um, weekend as you can see and I don't go to the... Don't worry, I have rearranged your schedule. Why? You know what? Oh, we're not done yet. Why? We have a lot to do today. Yeah. Oh, no. After this, we're going for lunch and come and, and dinner. I haven't even finished. Just really wait. No. I drove here to come and pick you up. I'm going with you. He drove here to pick Excuse you up. Excuse me? You're going with her? Tell me where are you going? No. He's going with me. You're not going anywhere. I am serious. You're not going anywhere. No. No. He's going with me. No. Harry, you're wicked. Heartless! How can you just raise me like that? I have never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Perhaps you and the others will leave me alone. You have to tell them to leave you alone. Because I won't give up. I can't. Are you sure about that? Henry. You don't believe I love you, do you? Oh, come on. I, I just hate that word, you understand? Just leave me, I have to walk right now. Oh, you serious? 
<laughs> a lucky girl. Um, you know, I even heard she was traveling to London to do all her shopping to get all her stuff. <laughs> So, so yet, both of you almost threw yourself overboard, total stranger. <laughs> Actually, Henry, I really hate to do this. I never talk about my friends. I never say a word about them. But you see, Anita, <laughs> Anita is one greedy and selfish girl. In fact, she tries to take all the good guys to herself. Anyway, now she's getting married. Let's keep our fingers crossed and see what she's up to. Well, that's really ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, you're innocent. I'm telling you, there's a lot you do not want to do. I need to go upstairs. Oh. Uh, Henry, can I join you upstairs? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh!
and not run away. I'm here now. What are you going to do? I have a proposal for you. I'm not interested. <laughs> oh God, what am I going to say? I've not seen a wise girl who's not interested in money before. Shut the fuck up and mention your price. I will not allow you insult me in my own house, okay? Just shut the fuck up and mention your price. Let me pay you handsomely to stay away from my man. Your man? You heard me. Yes, my man. Or you truly imagine that you weren't going to have a life with Henry? It's a lie. Now you listen and listen good. Is it where you leave your environment? You're not even my class. You're not even Henry's class. You don't have a class. You don't have a life. And I don't think Henry's father will even accept an entity like you into his family. So why don't you take the damn money and get a life? No. You and your rich parents can take your work and show it to your truth, okay? Oh my. Get a fuck up. You need it. Excuse me. Shit thing. Yes! a little suffocation in my own way. Okay, <laughs> God! Hey, you make my day. Okay, I'm getting you to address as soon as possible. Yes, I mean, who told you that? Your friend, Suzanne. Oh my god, that stupid big mouthed fool. I mean, how did she even know my plans? Yes, well, I was supposed to travel, but I just cancelled my appointment and it's all my personal matters. I see. Um, well, Carrie, I actually called to invite you for dinner. I am making something really, really special for you. No thanks. <laughs> hey, listen to me, okay? It's just a dinner. Candlelight, romantic setting, and that's all. Nothing special. You know, I don't get you, Anita. You're engaged to be married and let you hear from a baseless way. What? I am engaged to be married? Who told you that I was engaged to be married? The wedding card you sent me, remember? <laughs> me sent you a wedding card, me? No, I didn't send you any wedding card. Who told you this? No, Harry, I am not getting married. I mean, who told you that? How could you even believe that I was getting married? Harry, no, I'm getting all this wrong. It is wrong. I'm not getting married. Excuse me. I mean, Harry, I mean, who's lying to you? It's a big lie. I am not getting married. I am being It's a lie.
going to see um, Mr. Harry. He's not in. Okay, I'll wait for him. What for? I said he's not in. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I wasn't dead the first time. I said I'll wait for him. Where are you going to? Eh? Where are you going to? Cynthia, what's the commotion all about? <laughs> she, she, she came in here and she wants to go upstairs to wait for Master Henry. Well, it's all right, young lady. You can sit down and wait for me. Please sit. Cynthia, I need not remind you to be cautious to all visitors. Now, show Master Henry's guest some hospitality and give her something to drink. Did you hear me? Do that fast. Young lady, please make yourself comfortable. It's okay, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. These cheap, cheap, cheap street girls that, that, that easily throw themselves at me. Ah, wonder if their parents did not give them some moral upbringing. Oh. oh my God! You know what? You have a very dirty foul mouth for a house girl. But let me tell you something. By the time I become the madam of this house, I will bundle this your ugly shaped body out of this house in a flash of lightning. I promise you. See you then. Oh, it's really too calm. And to come so fast, to eat in your face. I promise you. Please open the wine for me, let me drink. I'm thirsty. <laughs> you can't even open a bottle of wine. You must be really bush. I mean, what school did you go to? Oh, okay. I'm sure they picked you up from the village and brought you to the city. And you're not going to be. Classless, I'll say. Classless, very classless. Are you still struggling with? Should I help you? Huh? <laughs>
Yes, because she bombarded me with insults and called me all sorts of names today because of you and because of your secret romance with her. You know what? I really do not want to be your distraction. Excuse me, I have to go.
said that was about the pat on the shoulder. Sir. Yes. She has been with us here for over three years. Yes, sir. And she has proved that she has character and homeless as well. Who knows? My son Henry may have fallen in love with her. I think it will really take time for us to find out. When he goes to find the sweet little girl again. Excuse me, sir. Another girl to stay? No, please. I am tired. Just like I've said, I am tired. The worst of it is that you don't, you don't even have regards for any of us. What is regards? A man of Henry's status has no regard for any woman until you succeed in dragging him to the altar. She's about my daughter. I know it's very difficult. I know it will be very difficult for you to do it. But you have to remain focused. The stake is too high for us to give up now. Or oh, you no longer wish to share Chief Mano's financial inheritance with his son? Mama, Mama, please. I'm sorry. I can never go back to that house. I won't. I have degraded myself so much before that guy. I still have some pride to salvage, please. I mean, I am a woman. I have endured enough. I have received so many insults from that stupid boy.
sweetie. Let me call you back. I hate my god staying in my cars. If you ask questions, you find others are being heavily at the car wash. Hmm. Is the offer still open? You sound like you've come to your senses. Um, <clears throat> the rest of you are so stupid by still remaining in that rat race. I don't have to pay you. I could increase your competition by a number, just for the fun of it. Twenty thousand naira. Make it five. Three hundred thousand naira. You know what? I don't know, but I wonder why here we go out with things like. Take it. So I now have a complete rundown on the profile of most of the frontline contenders. Oh, good. I hope not, sir. I'll quickly give you the rundown. Just Lucia, I know you are quite familiar with her, sir. Yes. And there's also Dian, the second daughter of Honorable Dabri Maxwell. Yes, yes, yes. I know him very well. The Honorable contested the state. The speaker sits at the legislature and failed. And I'm sure he's the one who denied the daughter to win back my political friends. Well, leave my dad and die my dad. There are also Aneta and Susan. Aneta is from a very low background. Does she have any criminal record? I mean, not that extreme. Okay. So, what about the last day? Her background is completely modeled up in history. No one seemed to know her true state of origin. I am seriously working on that side. I think it's, uh, it's an effort worthwhile. Let's give it up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why do you show me with so much gifts? I know you can afford anything I give to you. It's my little way of telling you how much you mean to me. I have a token for you too. Thank you so much. But I can't accept it. I don't want you to see me as a material type. Anyway, all I ask of you is to love me. Just love me. You make me feel guilty. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have given myself to you. I'm very sorry. Yeah. 
So you thought that um, Henry would never find out that you deceived him, right? You thought so, right? And um, who cares? No, no, even if who is going to prove it, no, show me that person who is going. Oh, you. <laughs> My dear, it won't matter because before long, I would have complete control of his eye. I know you're very foolish. You're going bananas. You're crazy. You're stupid. You know why you're stupid? Because there are so many competitors out there. So many. And you don't even know it. You're not even aware. And how is it your business? Tell me, what? how does it concern you? Look, take, look, take a look at me, Susan. There is nothing to look at my head. I'm more than a match for them. So, mind your business. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you one honest truth. If you think, if you think, as I have the slightest thoughts that you can play with, I have good news for you, my dear. Very good news, because I myself, moi, I'm not ready to let the Henry go, and I will deal with you to try. I will break you. You will break who? Yes. You will break who? Who are you going to break? I will break you. Get out of here! Get out! to meet the account manager now or after lunch. Better. Because I wouldn't want anyone to distract you while having lunch. Baby, uh, can we close early today? You know, make sweet love. Caress you, munch you, you know. Oh, sweet like chocolate. Oh, you know. Oh. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Henry, what? Get out. Get out. This rubbish has to stop. Get out! No, baby, baby, please, please, please. Don't let this sorry loser turn you.
if anything happens. Anyway, I need to be very sure, you know. Thank you. So please, <laughs> nothing should be said. <laughs> I'm just being concerned. I will take care of it. I'm not stupid. I'll do something before we get in. Ah, be happy for me. Go watch this thing for me. Go watch I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. I am happy for myself. Okay. 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 Story. Sure you hear me so Me, I'm a cow. Yes. I'm a cow. You, I'm a cow because I love you. You are good in this one, but I don't trust in the other one. She understand. Hey. Thank you very much. So, where is this your twin gum boy? Please, please, please. Not twin gum boy. I love him like that. Oh, yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This boy. Where is your love? <laughs> okay. What's, what's up? I'll be, I'll be waiting. My legs are paining me. Okay, oh, but um, actually, I'm getting kind of tired. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Hold on. Whoa. What was that? Um, this key, <laughs> actually, my sweetheart, Henry. Are you serious? Yes, I can't. Yeah. 